In this video, I'll be showing you one of the best Amazon FBA tools there are on the market today and how you can use it to dominate your competition. Sounds good, see you in a sec. What is up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you why I think Helium 10 is probably the best bang for your buck there is out there on the market today. There are so many features on Helium 10 that you can use to absolutely dominate your competition that even other sellers aren't using, even though they might have Helium 10. I'm really gonna show you little tricks and little hacks I've learned from using different tools on Helium 10 and then combining them with other little tricks I found that will really help you get ahead of the curve. But before we begin, I'm giving away a free one-on-one -on -one call with me. All you have to do is comment master plan down below. That's master plan, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be entered to win. Okay, so I'll be announcing the winner in the next Amazon FBA video I do. So all you have to do is comment master plan down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell to be entered to win. Okay, so really quickly, just gonna blast through Helium 10's uh, pricing plans, okay? So they have a free plan. That's the, the way to get a little taste of it, okay? But to be honest, there are not mu much options. You, you can't actually use it day to day, okay? So the platinum plan, that is the plan that I am on. And there is a diamond plan and an elite, elite plan. And the elite plan is basically, uh, you can use their networking service with a uh, high level uh, sellers and you can choose from monthly or annually. So I am on the monthly package, but if you go with annually, I think you save around $200, okay? So basically, they have so many tools that you can utilize, okay? So my favorite probably is Cerebro and all the other little tools. Like I don't know any software that combines all these tools in one, and they only just added uh, I think, well, a couple of months ago, they added this follow-up email automation tool. So there's, you know, services like Feedback Wiz and Feedback Genius, all these different uh, services. But this literally combines all that in one. So you have your follow-up email uh, automation, uh, sending out emails, trying basically so that you get reviews uh, for your Amazon business, which is really cool. Yeah, so if I was just starting off, I'd probably get the platinum plan, like the diamond plan and the elite plan, okay? Yeah, they're probably really good, but if you are tight for money, just start with the platinum plan, and then if you wanna see what the diamond plan is like, then you can get that. There is also a link in the description for a coupon code, just type Alan M and you get 10% off for life or 50% off for your first month. Okay, so the first tool uh, that Helium 10 have is the black box, it's a, product research tool, so it's really simple. So you just type in different metrics and it'll give you different search results, okay? So monthly revenue, let's put in 20,000 minimum. We want the price to be no less than say 25. We're gonna have the review count say 80. We don't want a high barrier to entry and then we can even pick the ship uh, shipping size here. So usually people go for small, but if you wanna actually go for say bigger products, maybe the market there is a lot uh, easier to enter because people aren't doing these products. But we'll just do small for example, okay? So what it's gonna do now, it's gonna pull up uh, a number of different search results and different types of products, okay? So we can see here the amount of sellers, the price, monthly sales, and we can sort by each and individual type of metric, okay? It's also gonna let us click into these different listings and check them out and see what they're like, okay? So a product I found using this was a pinata. So sometimes I like to bring up the Helium 10 Chrome extension, okay? So this is gonna give us a deeper dive into what the first page is like, what are, what are the numbers these people are doing, okay? So you can see here all the different metrics, the ASIN, the title, uh, do, they, do they have a buy box? Like Voyer Launch and Jungle Scout, they don't have this. Uh, and also they have a nice little sales chart, so it tells us how many sales this person has been doing at what time, okay? So you can see here, it's spiked in May and June. I think there's actually a Mexican holiday in May, so that's why it probably went up, and that's why you should always watch products for maybe a few weeks or a month or two to see is the sales, are they keeping the same volume of sales, okay? Because certain products, you might just buy them and you might order a big batch, thousand units, and then they arrive, and it turns out it was a special occasion or they're not selling now anymore because whatever, okay? So that's a little tip. Also, you can see here that Helium 10 is gonna tell us the different type 
of metrics as in this is number 11 in pinata so when people are typing in pinata it's going to give them the top 50 or top 100 i think and you can see here this is number two in pinatas it's also going to tell us the amount of sellers they have and you can actually calculate the fees okay so this is pretty cool you can just mess around with this there's so many different things but it just gives you a better insight into the product that you're thinking of doing okay okay so what it also lets us do is it has an evaluation result this is really good for even looking at competitors listings seeing how you can better your product listing and looking at your own listing okay so it's saying here that this uh, product has fewer in fewer than seven images okay so they recommend more than seven and the title is less than 150 so they could probably put more keywords in there and if we scroll down as well we have this another chart where it shows us the bsr and the different price range this product was in okay so we can see here around middle of may it dropped its price and the bsr also kept the same okay so what we can do is we can actually go into Cerebro, this is, I'll go back to the different tools now in a minute, but Cerebro, this is a little hack, this is a super hack people, okay? So you go into Cerebro and you're gonna, watch, what this basically does is it's a reverse ASIN tool, so you might be like, what does that mean, okay? So an ASIN is, it's basically just how to people, uh, how Amazon identifies a certain product or variation, okay? So you can see here in the URL, we can copy this, and it also is down here under, I think it's here somewhere. Yeah, you can see the ASINs here. And what we do is we put it into Cerebro and then we can uh, we can click get keywords. We can also click get competitors so we don't have to go in individually and do uh, get our competitors, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click get keywords and it's gonna show us all the different keywords this person is ranking for, uh, the different search volume for these type of keywords. So this is really gonna help you in your PPC and when you wanna rank your products, okay? Okay, so what we can do now is we can actually export this, right, to an Excel sheet. And this is a little hack now. It's really powerful if you do this. This is really gonna help you find your different keywords, okay? Okay, so what we are gonna do now is we are going to color scale these and we wanna see which keywords we should try rank for, which keywords we can use for PPC that other people aren't using so that we can get extra sales, okay? So we're gonna sort these by different colors. So you come into here, click on home, and you come into conditional formatting and click color sale scales, okay? So what we're gonna do is for the Cerebro uh, IQ score, we're gonna go green to red. So, hold on. So we're gonna go green to red. We're gonna go search volume because we want the ice, the Cerebro IQ score, we want that high, okay? So the same with the search volume. We want high search volume. We wanna know that people are searching for this product. So green is high, red is low, okay? Competing products, we want a low number of competing products. So we're gonna go red to green. Um, we can delete this. We're gonna do that now in a sec. Sponsored ASINs, we're gonna go red to green. And then what we can do is we can delete these here. Delete. And also delete all this. We don't need all this information right now. Okay, so what do we do with all this information? Basically, this is the way you can find keywords that other sellers aren't using for your PPC and the easiest ones you can rank for, okay? So you don't wanna rank for keywords that you could get to the top of the page and then you're gonna fall off. So these are metrics that are really gonna help you in terms of search volume. Obviously, when you get there, you wanna be selling, okay? So we can just go through and look at the different keywords, okay? So we can see here, Coco Games, free, all these. These are only an example, but we can. what we can do is when we find keywords that we like, we can just highlight them and then save them for later and build a list of keywords that we wanna target for PPC and say for our product launch. Okay, so the next tool is Frankenstein. It's a keyword processor. It's really good. All you do is dump a lot of keywords, uh, search terms into here, and it's gonna tell you the amount of one uh, word phrases or keywords, okay? So we can come back over to the Excel sheet, copy all the different keywords, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump it in here, and then we're gonna say remove duplicates, uh, add only, there's different options you can use but we're just gonna do it for simple now and we're gonna click uh, process and 
there you have it. It's gonna process 30,000 words into 4,000 and you can mess around with this. So you can say include word frequency, different things like this, really powerful guys. Uh, there's just so many variables with it and it's really gonna give you a good insight into what keywords are your consumers searching, okay? And the next thing now we're gonna go on to is scribbles, okay? This is, this is one of the best ones, okay? So what this does basically is when you have your product and you have everything ready to go and you need to write your listing, okay? So basically you can see here it says title, has your bullet points, has the subject matter, that's your back end. And what you're gonna do here is you are going to put the list of all the highest search volume words. So we can come back over here and say we're they obviously the most relevant and the highest search volume, okay? That is the way I do it. So we're gonna search or we're gonna sort by high to low. And for example, you're gonna obviously have these sorted by relevant as well. If it says something that is not relevant, like unicorn, birthday, party supplies, and your, yours is a, a, a Yama, obviously you're not gonna put that in it, okay? But what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy these once you sort them out yourself and you're gonna dump them in here and you're gonna click apply, okay? So as you can see here, this is gonna show you the most searched words and the words that you should use, okay? So the, the red is obviously the words that are the most important, that is gonna drive the most amount of sales, basically. Not drive the most amount of sales, but when you have, I recommend, say, putting the highest search volume words in your First of all, your title, then bullet one, bullet two, bullet three, and in the subject matter. Also, with the subject matter, you should still put some of the same words, okay? So if it's unicorn, I would put unicorn in the number one search subject matter. It's really gonna help you ranking, okay? So once you have the most relevant and highest search volume words, this is really gonna help you into finding out what should I put where. So obviously, all you're gonna go through the list, the red first, then the orange, then the green, then the blue and you're gonna put it in, you're gonna put it in it and try and make it make sense obviously. Okay, so the first one could be unicorn, party, birthday, pinata. You wanna make it make sense as well. Same with the bullet points, but it is, you do wanna stuff your keywords in there. This is what that is for, okay? Okay, so the next tool is the index checker. This is gonna show you, are you being ranked for your certain keywords? It's pretty simple, uh, pretty powerful as well and you can just put in your ASIN and it's gonna tell you. Also, you can do this with your competitors, okay? Okay, so the next one is the keyword tracker. So what this is, is you're gonna put your product in here or your product, and then you're gonna have the keywords that you wanna follow. So the top ones that you wanna follow, like pinata, pinata supplies, uh, Yama, pinata, and you wanna see where you're ranked every day. So that is a powerful one. Every day I check this, every day I come in and I wanna see if I'm still ranked where I want to be ranked, number one, obviously you wanna be, but say you're number six, whatever it is, you wanna make sure that you're maintaining that position. Otherwise, if you're dropping, you see keywords are dropping, you wanna do something, you might uh, have a promotion, you might drop the price, you might do different things, you might bring in external traffic to get you back up there. Like you're gonna think, why is it dropping, okay? So you're gonna implement tactics to get it back up there. And this is a really powerful tool for tracking your keywords. Okay, so the next tool, it's an alert. It's for hijackers, so it's gonna tell you if there is a hijacker on your listing, someone that is selling your product and saying, pretending that it's you, okay? Inventory protectors, so that is basically gonna show if anyone's abusing your coupons. Okay, so Refund Genie, this is a really good one. I don't think you can use it too often. I think automatic 60 day refresh. So every 60 days, it's gonna show if Amazon owe you money, okay? Okay, so the next one is the Miss Spellinator. So this is a really cool one. This is good for your PPC or your back end. So if you wanna find words, so you can type in say, small pinata, and then what you're gonna do is prepare them and then find the misspellings, okay? So no keywords for checking. Okay, I need to check them. Uh, we're gonna see if this has any misspellings. Okay, so it froze there for a sec, but what it basically does is gonna show you a number of words that people are searching, but they're misspelling, and then you can use these words in your backend and for your PPC. So that is a really good one, guys. Definitely recommend it. 
Okay, so that pretty much sums up Helium 10. They also have a few other little knickknacks like the email auto responder. Okay, that's really powerful. You don't have to use another service that usually charges 30, 40 dollars. That is included in the price. So if you want a discount on Helium 10, the link will be in the description. Just go down, check it out and use the coupon code that I give you. And just remember, if you want to be entered to win the one-on-one -on -one consulting call with me, all you have to do is comment master plan down below. That's master plan. Hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell and you'll be entered to win. Okay, that is it for today everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it brought you some value and thanks for watching and see you in the next one.